Okay, first up is the Aerotech G54. And it's a short and fast boost. The Jolly Logic chute release opens the parachute at 300 feet. Next up is the Aerotech F-22. And it's a long and slow boost. So here's the thrust curve for the G54. And here is the thrust curve for the F22. And here's my hand drawn approximation of the thrust curves we just looked at. I wanted to draw them on the same plot so we could look at them on the same time scale. So we note here that the G54 burns a little over one and a half seconds and the F-22 burns a little bit over three seconds. And that is the reason when we watched the launches that it seemed like the boost phase of the G-54 was a little bit shorter than the F-22. The F-22 kind of just looked like it just kept going and going and going. And that longer burn time is the reason that it appeared that way, or really was that way. And the next thing to look at is the thrust. You can see that the G-54 has almost three times the maximum thrust as the F-22 and that's the reason that the rocket with the G-54 in it jumped off the pad so much quicker than the rocket with the F-22 in it. Now I know it's not an exactly fair comparison because I'm using two different rockets and two different size motors by that I mean an F and a G but by and large when you're flying to you know, roughly the same altitude or a low altitude. If you have a motor with a short burn time, the rocket's going to take off quicker than the rocket with the long burn time because the motor with the short burn time is going to have a higher thrust or higher average thrust normally. Okay, so to summarize all of that, unless your rocket's flying to an extremely high altitude, if the motor you're using has a high aspect ratio, then the boost phase is going to be relatively slow and relatively long. And if you're using a motor with a low aspect ratio thrust curve, then your boost phase is going to be short and fast relatively. Now there are some exceptions and those are normally motors that are designed to have a high initial thrust and then taper off really quickly um, to still have a long burn time. And one of those is the Estes D12. And if you want to get a look at the performance of that motor, make sure you check out my other YouTube video, which is titled Epic 2 Olympus and Other Estes Rocket Launches. The D12 motor is used in the Estes Olympus in that video. And that's all for this video. Be sure to subscribe.